Auzubillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hope you are doing good. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. I am Erin Qasim from PMEI school system is going to discuss lecture number 3 from unit number 3 the dreams. In our previous lecture we read the summary question answers words meanings and paraphrase of the poem. But now in this lecture we will learn the stanza comprehension from the same poem. Let's get started. Stanza comprehension in stanza number one. Stanza is hold fast to dreams for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Questions. Question number one is what are dreams? And the answer is dreams are ambition in life which we want to achieve successfully. Question number two is what should we do to lead a successful life? And the answer is, we should hold our dreams firmly to lead a successful life. Question number three, what happens when we don't hold dreams in life? Kya hota hai jab apne zindagi mein khwabon ko ahmiyat nahi dete? Answer is, our life becomes miserable and meaningless when we don't hold dreams in our life be mahini ho jati hai jab hamare zindagi ka maqsad hi nahi ho koi question number 4 which figure of speech is used in this stanza and the answer is metaphor is used in this stanza question number 5 is write the metaphor used in this stanza and the answer is a broken winged bird is the metaphor used in the stanza Question number six. How a life becomes a broken winged bird? Zindagi kaise ek jo hai us parinde ki manind ho jati hai jiska ek par tuta hua ho. And the answer is if dreams die. Jab khwab mar jate hai. Ya agar khwab mar jai. A life becomes a broken winged bird that cannot fly. To zindagi ek kaise parinde ki manind ho jati hai jo ki ur nahi sakta. Question number seven is, what does the poet descri describe in this stanza? And, so, and the answer is, the poet describes the importance of dreams in this stanza. Ahmiyat bata raha hai dreams ki ki kya ahmiyat hai khwabon ki hamare zindagi mein. Question number eight, how can we achieve our dreams? Apne khwabon ko haqiqat mein kaise badal sakte hain? Unko hasil kaise kar sakte hain, apne makasit ko, apne objectives ko. And the answer is, we can achieve our dreams by hard work, definitely. Hard work is the key to success. By the continuous hard work, we can achieve our, achieve our goals, our aims, and we can get success in life. Stanza comprehension, stanza number two is, hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Questions and question number one. What will happen if we let our dreams go? Kya ho, jab hum apne khwabon, apne zindagi mein se khwabon ko nikal dein, ya apne khwabon pe bharosa karna chhod dein, ya khwab dekhi hi nahin? And the answer is, if we let our dreams go, Life will be just like a barren land. So, zindagi ek aisi banjar zameen jaisi ho jayegi ki jo unproductive ho. Question number two is, what is the result of a dreamless life? Ek dreamless life ki natija kya hota hai? Answer, without dreams, life will become dull and purposeless. Baghair khwabon ke zindagi be maini ho jayegi. Koi shine usme nahi hoga. Koi brightness nahi hogi. Question number three. What is the key to live a happy and successful life? Ek kamyab aur ek khushgawar zindagi guzarne ke liye kya chiz zaruri hoti hai? What's that important thing? And the answer is dreams are key. To live a happy and successful life. Question number four. Which figure of speech is used in, used in this stanza? And the answer is 
metaphor is used in this stanza? Question number five. What is the metaphor used in this stanza? And the answer is a barren field is the metaphor used in this stanza. Question number six. What is the message of the stanza? Not message of the poem, but message of the stanza. And the answer is the message of the stanza is that we must have dreams and work hard to achieve them for a successful life. That means dreams. Question number seven. Write down the name of the poem and the poet. And this uh, and this question also comes in the paper. Always comes in the paper. Answer. The name of the poem is Dreams. And the poet is Langston Hughes. Okay, dear students. This is it for today. Hopefully, this lecture will be helpful for you to understand. Thank you so much.